Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an HTML element draggable. And for this, we're going to be using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So if you take a look over here, I'm just on CodePen, and I have a little setup. I just have this element up here. It's called draggable. It has a class name of draggable. And then down here in the class, we're sort of styling it. So one thing you'll notice about this is it's using absolute positioning. And this is the first thing, if you're gonna make an element draggable, it has to use absolute positioning. That's because we're gonna be able to use the left and the top properties to change it. So here, because it's absolute, if I said left was equal to like 300 pixels, you'll see that it moves over to the left. And then if I said top was equal to 100 pixels, something like that, it would move down. So when we have absolute positioning, we're able to position the element using these different properties. And that's what we're gonna end up using in our JavaScript. So let's go ahead down here in the JavaScript and we'll get started. The first thing that we need to do is get access to this element. So I'm just gonna call it draggable and we're gonna do a document.query selector and we're gonna grab that from the class name. So right there, draggable. So now we have access to this element and what we wanna do is we wanna make it so that the element is able to follow the mouse. So the idea is that wherever the mouse moves when we're dragging, the element would follow. So we can say document.addEventListener and we're gonna listen for whenever the mouse moves. So this is a pretty common event. Every time the mouse moves, and that's gonna be quite often, this event is going to fire and we're gonna get this event object right here. Now this event object has two properties. It has a client X property and it has a client Y property. That's gonna tell us where the mouse is positioned on the screen. So what we can do then is we can utilize those left in those top styles. Remember we did that before, left and top here. We're gonna set those now in JavaScript instead of in the CSS. So here we're gonna say draggable, and that's the element, dot style, dot left, and that's gonna be equal to, and I'm gonna use string interpolation here, event dot client x pixels. And then we'll do the same thing for the right, or no, sorry, for the top. So we we'll say uh, uh, draggable.style.top, and this is gonna be event.clientYPixels. So now what should happen is whenever I move the mouse, this element should be following it around. So you'll see here, and whoops, I say mouse moves. This should just be mouse move. So you'll see here, whenever I move the mouse, the element kind of follows around and the pointer is sort of up there in the top left corner. And that's from the client X and the client Y pixels. So now what we wanna do is make it so that this only happens, in other words, the element is only moving whenever the user has the mouse held down. Because whenever we're dragging, right, you only want this to happen when the mouse is held down. So right now, like I'm not holding in the mouse and I'm moving it around and it's still following. I don't want that to be the case. I only want that to be the case when the mouse is down. So let's create a little piece of state here. I'm gonna call this is dragging. And this is gonna tell us whether or not that mouse is down, whether or not they're actually dragging the element. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say listener. So we wanna listen for whenever the mouse is down. In other words, whenever they click down on the element. So listener. And don't get this confused. Here we said listener. Here we're saying draggable.addEventListener. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in. We're gonna set is dragging equal to true. And then we're gonna do one more down here. We're gonna say, and this time we're just gonna say document.addEventListener. And this is gonna be mouse up. And that's also gonna take an event. And then we're gonna say is dragging is equal to false. So I'm using the document here for these two event listeners just so it's a little bit more general. Sometimes if the mouse moves really fast, it might move outside of the element. And so that way we'll always be able to tell if it is dragging is false. So whenever they click down on the element, is dragging becomes true. And whenever the mouse comes up, is dragging is equal to false. And then finally, what we'll do in here is we'll say if is dragging, so only when they're dragging, do we want to change the X and Y of the element? Okay, so let's go ahead now. When I move the mouse, you'll see nothing happens. And then if I click down on this element and then I start moving it, you'll see that it starts to move with me. And then when I lift my mouse up, uh, it stops dragging. 
Now the only thing left to do is to make it so that instead of it snapping, you can see here, anytime I put my mouse down, it sort of snaps to the top left. Um, all we have to do is just create two more variables. So we can say offset X here, and that's gonna be equal to zero. And then offset Y is gonna be equal to zero as well. This is gonna tell us like where they clicked on the element so that we can kind of adjust. So you'll see how this works in one second. So over here, whenever they put the mouse down, we're gonna modify the offset X and the offset Y. So here we can say offset X is equal to, and once again, we're gonna use that event.clientX. So this is gonna tell us where the mouse is, and then we're gonna subtract it from the draggable elements offset left. And this is gonna tell us exactly how far away this element is from the left side of the page. So offset left, that tells us how far the element is. And then depending on where the mouse is, if we subtract these, we can figure out the distance between the mouse and the edge of the element. And then we're gonna do also the same thing for offset Y. So that's gonna be equal to event.client Y minus draggable dot offset top. So offset top will tell us how far away this draggable element is from the top of the page. And then if we subtract that from the mouse, we should get the distance. And that'll basically just make it so that the element is kind of not snapping to the top left, or sorry, the mouse isn't snapping to the top left. And then we can just subtract both of those from the style down here. So minus offset X and minus offset Y. And so now whenever I click on this element, it shouldn't snap up to the top left. Instead, it'll just stay there with my mouse. Okay, so that pretty much does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.